Well, Canada's banking regulator says it is not making any changes to the stress test for uninsured mortgages. An uninsured mortgage is a residential mortgage with a down payment of 20% or more. The regulator says the test will remain the contract rate plus 2% or five and a quarter percent, whichever is higher. Joining us to discuss this more, Sean Cooper, mortgage broker and author of Burn Your Mortgage. That's quite a title, Sean. <laughs> uh, welcome and thanks so much for joining us on the show today. Hi, ha thank you for having me, Lois. So Sean, let's get your impressions. What do you think of the fact that Offsy is leaving the minimum qualifying rate for uninsured mortgages unchanged? Is that the right move? Well, it's really no surprise everybody expected it. And the 5.25% rate is really are relevant at this point in time with mortgage rates a lot higher than that, like in the five and six percent, people have been having borrowers have been having to qualify at seven and eight percent, like two percent higher than that there. So I definitely think that it's a, a prudent move there and it's really no surprise that on, on my end here. Right, and so let's talk about how that picture has now changed for potential Canadian borrowers. Uh, the fact that prime lending rates have gone up uh, after the latest interest rate hike. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that and how some of your clients are managing the situation now. Yes, that's a great point. We've seen interest rates go up now seven times in 2022. I'm talking about like the Bank of Canada putting up interest rates. So certainly those with variable rate mortgages have felt that the pitch with their payments going up because for every half point increase in interest rates that equates to uh, a $25 a month increase for every $100,000 of a mortgage payment, a mortgage that you've borrowed. So certainly borrowers have felt the, the pain and I've seen some borrowers with their payments go up uh, by over like $1,000 dollars a month since the beginning there so those have helped some of my clients get it lock into fixed rate mortgages as well as switch to variable rate mortgages with fixed payments there so i would definitely say speak with your mortgage professional and, and come up with a strategy if you're feeling the, the pitch from a cash flow standpoint is there anything else that people can do though um, to ensure that they do pass that stress test? Are there ways that they can structure their finances? Any tips that you have there? Yes, definitely. The stress test is is to protect borrowers and, and, and it's to protect financial institutions. That that's the goal of that there. But it has made it difficult for borrowers to qualify to borrow mortgage money and buy property, especially in expensive markets like Toronto and, and Vancouver. As mentioned, like if mortgage rates are five to six percent, then that means you might have to qualify like at a rate of seven to eight percent there. So it's definitely made it difficult for borrowers to be able to qualify. But if you have at least 20% down on a property, the uninsured mortgages that you were referring to earlier in the segment there, that there are other ways to, to qualify. For example, like provincially regulated credit unions, uh, that, that's a way to potentially get around the, the stress test. But it's still important to sit down with a mortgage professional and just look at your budget, and make sure that you're not stretching yourself too thin because just because you could qualify for like X dollars in terms of mortgage money, a $600,000 mortgage, $700,000, does it mean that it makes sense for you to do that? Because perhaps you have childcare costs or other expenses that the stress test doesn't factor in. So definitely sit down with a mortgage professional, do a budget and make sure you're not stretching yourself too thin. Okay, mortgage broker Sean Cooper joining us on this today. Thank you so much for your time and for your tips. My pleasure, Lois.